Hi, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk mountain weather and uh, ski conditions. And first off, we'll start out with a Snowbird live camera. You can see it is snowing up there in Little Cottonwood Canyon. This is going to be a good storm system and will leave lingering snow on kind of a northwest flow pattern for a couple of days. Um, so Snowbird and Alta are going to do extremely well, as I'll show you. But so will Solitude and Brighton, for that matter. I mean, this is going to be a good setup for the Wasatch in general and for parts of Colorado and to some degree the Teton. So again, that is uh, Snowbird right now. Let's jump into the, uh, the analysis here. I want to show you where we stand at this point. This is total snow so far. Jackson Hole's almost at 400 inches, if you can't see that. And Grand Targhee's not far behind. So 379 at Jackson Hole. Um, Grand Targhee's at three and a quarter. They're probably already adding to this. Whistler Blackcomb at 315. And Wolf Creek in Colorado has been the big winner all year so far with the most snow in Colorado. And they're not that far back at 278. Alta's right there, 265. And you can see all the others on the list. We definitely need a lot more snow in parts of uh, Colorado. Uh, we, we're just, it's been such a dry start. Now we're just seeing this parade of storms add to our snowpack, which is great, but we definitely need some more snow. So here's the situation. The storm is starting in across uh, the Intermountain West, and it will continue to pick up, and that flow of moisture will continue to slam into the Wasatch and to the Tetons, and eventually that is going to move into Colorado, all that blue which you see there, and that is snow. Now, it's a really nice feed of moisture all the way out into the Pacific, and you can see it right here. Look at the clouds with this jet extending all the way out into the Pacific, and it's just taking that moisture and just slamming it into the Pacific Northwest, and it's pointing it directly into the, uh, the mountains, and we're squeezing out some really good orographic snow out of this over the next 24 to 48 hours in particular. So here's the future radar as I move this into the future. By tomorrow morning, look at the snow. It's in many of the same areas, and it has moved into Colorado. So we're setting up this really nice feed of moisture, plus lifting it up over these mountain ranges, and the snow will just continue. So that is Tuesday morning. As we hit Wednesday morning, it's kind of the same in some of these areas. Look at this. I mean, this is just, you know, you love to see this if you like powder. 24 hours of just solid ore graphic flows over many of the same areas. Um, downwind there in Colorado, you're dealing with snow that would continue to linger in the central and northern mountains on Wednesday. And again, this is 515 with snow continuing back over the Intermountain West of Utah and Wyoming and even into Idaho and southern southwest of Montana. Um, so then as we move from Wednesday into Thursday, things start to settle down a little bit. The flow starts to dry up on the backside, and there's a little bit of leftover snow into parts of Colorado. Now what we have to focus on is what comes next, and there is another storm system. I'm going to play this all the way out through Friday, so into Saturday morning, in fact, so you can kind of see how this plays out. But between Thursday and Friday, watch the Pacific Northwest. There is another storm system. You can almost see it coming in right there. So that will continue to spread moisture. And look at that. And it all begins to move into the interior. And once again, we're talking about the same type of setup where all that snow uh, slams into Idaho and the Tetons and also into uh, Utah, into the Wasatch. And that will start to move in. Friday into Saturday is a key time frame. That's when this storm will move in from the, uh, the Pacific Northwest. And we've got talking about a powder day, Friday and probably Saturday. There's Saturday on the future radar. So you can see it. I mean, we're going to be looking at snow on the interior. All right, let's look at snow amounts. So between Monday and Tuesday morning. Tuesday's going to be a big day. Look at Alta. Look at Snowbird. You're talking two feet of snow up there. Um, really good stuff. And over just over a foot in Jackson Hole and Grand Targhee. So tomorrow is going to be a good powder day in those areas. And a foot in Park City. I think Solitude and Brighton end up somewhere between 15 and probably 20 inches. In Colorado, we've added generally 4 to 8 inches. Let me run this out. So by the time we then go from Tuesday at 5 into Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, we'll add these kinds of amounts across the West. And the numbers will continue to go up in the Pacific Northwest as well. And these would be totals by Tuesday night at 5 p.m. I mean, we could be looking at almost 40 inches in Alta, Snowbird, Little Cottonwood Canyon. Look at Colorado by Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night, generally 4 to 8. Some places could get more. Jackson Hole's working on 20. And some decent snow on the backside from Rainier all the way down to Timberline and Mount Bachelor. All right, so there you go. Continue to keep an eye on this storm and the one for the end of the week. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.